Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Movie Social. We're your host, Ricky and Steph. What up, what up, what up? And today on Movie Social, we're going to be doing a review of the new movie for Angelina Jolie out now in theaters and on HBO Max called uh, Those Who Wish Me Dead. Now, title to me was slightly misleading, but at the same time accurate. Because the wishing me dead, you'd have thought it was the father. But Mm -hmm. no, it's the son at the end. But let's just get in and break this thing down. The time difference between where they were at in Tampa. I'm sorry, Jackson, I believe. Mm -hmm. And to the forest. I believe that was what in uh, Montana or something like that. It was somewhere, but that that yeah. was a huge travel by car, and how they get there that quick enough, and then have a crew did by plane. A lot of action, a lot of violence. One thing though was interesting to me: Nicholas Holt playing a villain in this. My man Beast Boy went and became a villain. He actually played the role kind of well. Except for the end. When he met his end. But I have a few nitpicks in my eyes on this. When he killed the father, shot shot up the vehicle, and then the car comes went going past, and she's talking to him, asking about uh, somebody go over. All they had to do was say, no, it was the other guy's car that went over. And they already called for somebody to come get it. And we're just going to drive into town or something like that with our other vehicle. Instead, he, what he does he do? Shoot her, leaves evidence around instead of just letting her go. Mm-hmm. So what they seen her face. Well, seen their face. Whatever. And... My un- my only other true nitpick part of this, we didn't need Tyler Perry in this at all. Not even for that one little quick minute role. Anybody could have been in this. No main person could have been in this. We didn't need Tyler Perry. I thought that part was pointless. What about you? All right. So before before I get into this review, I just want to say this. Everyone is entitled to their opinion, mm-hmm. whether you agree or you don't agree. Like that's just mm-hmm. universal. Okay. Come on. I just thought I was okay. Um, the best part of the movie to me was the pregnant wife. She was. Oh, a total, I mean, she's the unsung hero. She was a total movie. badass. First of all, pregnant and doing all that. Mm-hmm. Mind you, black. See, she was good with black people out here. What we can do. Like I said, total badass. She escaped them for the first time in the cabin. Whew, I was on. She, she did... Now, like I said, my opinion. She did more for the movie than Angel- Angelia Jolie did. Yes, she did. Now, if the roles were reversed, right? Mm-hmm. And they had, like, the pregnant girl being the person that was watching over the boy and protecting him and the way she was, how she was doing stuff, mm-hmm. I probably would have liked it a little bit more. Um, I felt, though, like Angelina Jolie was just a glorified baby for this. Technically, she was in a way because of the fact of a fire situation. She was yeah. stuck there because of her actions or inactions. But and so I mean, she was there to watch. Her main purpose in this movie was to keep the child alive throughout the fire, basically. Which is fine, but I feel like the pregnant lady could have done just as well. Like she, I don't. I don't think she... I'm not saying no to that, but her being pregnant would have kind of threw that off a bit. That would have made it so much better. No, me. because if you're pregnant, you're not going to be in a fire tower. They're not going to leave you in a fire tower. I mean, as at, a the, pregnant at the end, she was in a fire tower. I know. I'm just saying as a firefighter, first of all, she would have been on leave at six months pregnant. True, true. I just feel like, like, for Angelina Jolie, for this to be her movie, she didn't do enough for me. I mean, she had one part that was really something, 
But the fight, the, the fight at the end, but yeah. that, that was just at and the, the end. And the fact of saving the kid by put them being in the water. Mm-hmm. But then again, that was at the end. You waited, yeah. like you watched an hour. She and had her action minutes. too of uh, that lightning. Whew. Yo, man. First of all, the lightning. I just want to know where the did tower. they live because, bro, they was literally like the tower with the lightning, then the lightning field. I'm gonna call it a lightning field. You forget out in the countryside. All right, so that, that's the difference between being in the city and the countryside. In the city, you have a lot of places that have rod, lightning rods on buildings to attract the lightning to it. So you have less chances of it hitting straight down at you. Countryside and country area, you don't have all these met, all this metal and lightning rods to attract the lightning mm-hmm. to. So it's just going to come down anywhere. That's why you get a lot of fires that spark up out of nowhere. Because the lightning is just hitting the earth. And bruh, let me tell you how, how dry their uh forests were <laughs> that fire spread but that's Super all forests. i know that's yeah, what i'm saying like, that's, that's why forest fires, fires that's the part i liked really about this how it showed the accuracy of how these fires be spreading so quickly because of the, the dry forest. the dryness and stuff but one thing i really think people really should be considering at this point how when they started the fire at the campgrounds why don't we have a sprinkler system built into these campgrounds where you know people are going to be camping it and a fire could start where these sprinkler systems kick in let's just say we have camera a camera that's keeping an eye on this stuff and they spot a fire that's not basically a contained fire for a cookout or something like that or campfire and it's something that's burning on a tree or on grass itself enact the sprinkler system immediately Suppress the fire, foam, whatever, something to help cut this down a lot more. True. I, I just, like I said, I just thought it was okay. I feel like Angelina Jolie didn't like for this to be her movie. Nothing more than a glorified babysitter. Just to me, she did more than the than the detective. Well, the cop, the sheriff, the sheriff's department cop, because he wasn't the sheriff. The sheriff got himself killed in an instant, yeah. which is another part that was horrible for him. Yeah, he he was out of there quickly. First of all, this dude. Why they have to kill Doug's Demidome like that? Doug Demidome, R.I.P. Bro, listen. First of all, the dude tried to fight them. You now, see, watching him and Punisher, and then watching him try to fight in this, I was just like, they did him dirty on this. Because <laughs> first of all, they supposed to be trained. Okay, they trained uh, probably ex-military, or whatever. But he's a trained cop with survival skills. Mm-hmm. And you mean to tell me when he started fighting this one dude that's got a burnt up face already, he couldn't wrestle the gun away from him? Because he do, he's the one who's not coming back on the ground. I'm like, hey. You know what also that kind of like bothered me a little bit, just a teeny bit? Mm-hmm. So, as a survivalist, right, you, mm-hmm. you should be able to detect certain things. Like, for example... You should have been able to tell you that 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 burn on his face was fresh. Remember, he didn't see his face at first. I'm just talking about when he okay because remember when he, he was like, "Yeah, we got your wife." I'd have seen his face. And be like, remember, they didn't. He couldn't look at his face. They kept him from, from looking at him. Yeah, I mean, he didn't see him until they already started until he was in cuffs and they was walking away. True, because I mean, if he just seen his face, he'd be like, "Oh, you got my wife, huh?" <laughs> like, he well, remember, he already thought that they didn't have his wife. I mean, After a while, because it was only them two. That's why I remember when he started fighting them. He already knew his wife wasn't with them. Yeah, I just thought I was okay. I'm not gonna say meh. I enjoyed it for what it was, but I feel like you know those are just my critiques of it. That's all. Only part that I really truly didn't like at the end of it was we don't know if he lived or died completely. The True. wife alluded to him being no. dead, but you know what. He is my biggest one. gripe of the entire movie. How the tower still stood? Huh? How the tower still stood at the fire? No, not that at all. What? What were they chasing him for? You didn't pay attention to what the father was saying? No, no, no. I was paying attention to him. I want to know exactly, like, in full details. They He alluded it was illegal money. Yeah, being but... Being ran around. But, like, and I needed grew, to it know... It was deep. Like... like Government officials were involved. That's my point. Like, I wanted the son... Money to, laundering and all. I wanted the son to, like, at least say in full detail... I mean, 
you expect the son to really know in full detail, honestly? I mean, with the information that he had, like, like the stuff, the paper that his dad gave, I think his dad also gave him a drive and stuff like that. Like, First of all, that paper was done. At least, at the least have, like, gone. a news, like, a news outlet that's just going off, Man. reporting on it and saying what it was. That's all I wanted to know. I wanted to know in full detail what was going on. Not yeah. snippets. Just give me full details. Where I knew what was going on. And that's how so Perry, that, that's how Perry cameo was. <laughs> pointless. Me. It was pointless. I told you. That could have been me. I mean, the only thing that would have made that part better was them having him in cuff at the end of this. Yeah, but I mean... Him being in there was pointless to begin with. That that could have been me. And then it could have been like, Steph wrote random black guy. I mean, <laughs> he's supposed to be the boss of their organization. That's what I'm saying. But it was like, eh. It literally could have been anybody. Pretty much. It could have been somebody who paid $100,000 to or less than that. Just to sit in there, say five lines, and that's it. You know, one thing I really didn't like with this, they had too many bigger name people in this for a handful of five second roles, basically. Because the guy from Equal- the Equalizer, the detective from in there, mm-hmm. sit there for like three scenes. That's it. That's what I'm saying. Tyler Perry, one scene. That was it. I'll probably pay that man a million dollars to be there for five minutes. Or they could have paid a random black guy <laughs> way less. I right, I'll take it for a hundred thousand. Facts. Say a few lines. Call it a day. Yep. But all in all, the movie wasn't the best, but it was the worst. I've seen it. Yeah, a exactly. Lot worse. That's my point. It wasn't the best, and it wasn't the worst. That's why I said it was the okay. The plot was good, and it carried me through it because I did want to find out what happened at the end. <laughs> so <laughs> stuck through and watched it, but. Yeah, there's some parts that could have been different. I'm still going to build this as the pregnant black woman was the best. Facts. In this. To get away from them two in the cabin and then to kill one of them and survive the fire and all that. While pregnant. Six months pregnant. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Crazy. She's MVP for sure. Let us know what you guys think about this in the comments below. And until next time.